What up, y'all? Jesse with JRB Sounds. This is the audio tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to export your project stems out in Studio 1.4 so you can send them out to be mixed and mastered. Main thing you want to check for is to make sure nothing is peaking or clipping, none of the audio files. Use a gain plugin or tool like this to bring down the signal if you're hitting the red on the meters. All right, let's get into this. Step one, you're going to start by going to the drop down menus at the top of the screen. You're going to select Song Export Stems, or the short key is Command Shift E. You're going to bring up the export stems menu. Um, you have two columns right here is the channels column and a tracks column. The tracks column contains audio and MIDI tracks and the channels column contains audio tracks, buses and effect sends that also can get exported. By default, if any tracks or channels are muted or empty, they'll be unchecked. An easy way to select tracks is by pressing the select all active or none buttons below the track list. Channels and tracks both export out whatever processing you have currently on them. If you want to export them out dry with no effects, you need to disable the effects sends and inserts on all the tracks if you want them to be dry. Or if you want processing on them, you have to enable those. Next is the location. This is where the stems are going to get exported out to on your computer or your hard drive. You hit click the little dot 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 icon. It'll bring up the project folder by default and it automatically creates a stems folder when you click OK. So you're able to select anywhere on your computer you want the stems to go out to. File name prefix is uh, goes before the name of each stem if you want to organize it. The publishing menu lets you publish the stems out to PreSonus's platform Notion or to SoundCloud. Uh, the format selects what format you wish to convert the stems into. If you're exporting a song to get mixed, I recommend using a WAV file, 16, 24, or 32-bit, and keeping the, the sample rate at 44.1, especially if you're sending it out to get mixed. Really just recommend you keeping it the same as you recorded it. Next is the export range field. This is going to decide the length that will be exported out for each of the song's stems. First is between loop. That's going to start with the, the left and right locators, those little gray locators at the top right here. That'll be the range for that option. Between song and start end markers is going to be your markers track. So it's going to go between that range of the start and end. Next is between each marker. Um, that exports separate audio files for the range between the markers for each track. And then it places them in folders named after the markers. And then between selected markers lets you choose a pair of markers to export the range in between. And then the duration is how many minutes each stem will be. Last field is the options. First is preserve mono tracks. Each mono track will render as a mono audio file regardless of stereo effects. And there's real time processing, which means it will export each of your song's stems out in real time. This is beneficial when you have external MIDI instruments or outboard gear hardware processing so you can detect any artifacts and monitor it make sure it comes out clean uh, right tempo to audio files is metadata getting put inside of the stems so you can open up the properties of the files and you'll be able to see that there's an attached bpm or tempo to it import to track if you would like each exported stem to import back into the current song session and then close after export, which is pretty self-explanatory. We would like to close the export stems menu once you're finished exporting. Overlap adds extra time to the exported range. It may be useful if you're adding crossfades. And yeah, that's pretty much the export stems menu after that. You would go ahead and click OK. And then it would go ahead and start to export out every single stem. Now I left everything dry. It's saying it would take about four minutes to do this. I'm going to show you a quicker way, an alternative route to do this. It's um, instead of using this export stems menu, you're going to go ahead and use the bounce selection feature inside of Studio One, which is much quicker if you're going to be doing dry rendering for all your stems. First thing you want to do is go over here to the tool bar menu or hit the short key number two and get the range tool. You're going to go ahead and select the range. So you're going to highlight from start to finish with the range tool, all the audio tracks that you want to be exported separately with no processing. So we're going to do all of these from right here all the way down all the way to right there and you, know, you want to highlight from the very beginning on each track so you have no timing issues when you send it out so make sure you put it to the beginning and the very end of where the stems in or where you want them to end now next thing you're going to do is go to the top of the menu go to events and then go to bounce selection or the short key is command b and just like how it created a stems folder automatically when you go to the export stems menu it's going to create a bounce folder automatically when you hit command b so now it's bouncing it instead of Four minutes, it's taking 15 seconds. Much quicker than bouncing it out, especially if you're gonna be doing it dry. And then I'll show you where the location is for both those folders, for the export stems menu folder and the bounce selection folder, how they automatically get created and organized so you can send them out. Bam, just like what the export stems menu would do, it do the same thing. 
So let's go ahead and check out these files. Go to browse. Here it is. This is the folder of the song. There's the bounces folder. Oh, we got to refresh it. All the stems that we just created with bouncing it. And then this is the stems folder, which I didn't finish doing, but it would have all gone into that folder. That's how you export the stems out in Studio One Four. Any questions, go ahead, leave it in the comments. Subscribe, like if you're enjoying this content. And uh, yeah, thanks y'all for watching. Peace.